at House Paul's Mobile Veterinary Service, and I'm about to show you how to use your in-home glucose monitoring kit from AlphaTrack. It's important to use a kit that's specific towards animals, not humans. Their values are a little bit different, and it can cause some serious problems. Inside your AlphaTrack, you're going to see there are a guide, which is recommended to read. There's also a video for those people who don't like to read to watch. It shows you exactly what you're going to do. You also have sterile lancets. This is what we're going to use to actually slightly poke our baby at home to get our sample. Inside your kit, there are strips that we use to test. Or maybe about 50 inside each container. Each container is very different. There are numbers on here, as you'll see, specific towards dog or cat. You have a monitor that you'll turn on, and at that point, you'll adjust it accordingly to your strip. The machines don't turn on until you insert your strip. I like to think butterflies fly upwards, so that's the way you're going to insert it into your monitor. As soon as you push it in all the way, the monitor will turn on, and you'll make sure the code is exactly specific to the code on your box. Next thing to do is grab a patient and see how they tolerate it. <laughs> so this is Bella, Dr. Lisa's little rescue pup. What we're going to do is show you a couple different areas to take a sample from first. You can always take a sample from the ear. Along the edge of the ear there's a vein which you can slightly press up on, allow the vein to fill with blood, and take your little sample. You can also take it from the inside of the lips. Capillaries. What we're going to do today is take it from the lip, if Bella lets us. Oh, stop. So what I'm going to do is get my machine ready. I'm going to turn it on. Butterflies flying upwards. Insert it. And I'm looking here to see dogs are number 36, which is the code that we're on now. What I'll do is flip her lip over. And as I slowly push the needle in, I'm going to get a little twist and back out. Sample is coming out now. And I'm going to touch the blood bead. So now my sample is reading. And it's going to calculate a number for me, 73. Not diabetic. With these strips, you have two different ways, two different attempts on your strip. One on one side, one on the other one. If one fails, you can try the other side. If you don't get a reading by the second one, dispose of your strip and grab another one. Take your time. You have one minute to get the blood sample. So don't feel pressured. A minute's a long time.